What I enjoyed most about the trip to New York City was just being with the uh, young kids and uh, seeing their growth in, in not only God and Jesus, but uh, in, their, in their relationship with each other. We had uh, 17 young men and women that went on the trip. Didn't have a lot of, uh, they are separate ninth and 10th graders. They don't hang out a lot. Some of them don't do so. We got to, uh, close to each other on the subway uh, the first day. It was jam packed, crowded, so that that really started the process of bonding. And by the end of the trip, uh, they're laughing, giggling, watching Walt Disney movies every night. You know, kind of corny, but it's good. You know, they could have been doing a lot worse things. So for me, seeing the kids interact with each other and get along together was was a highlight. I think what was really very evident is that Jesus brings dignity especially to those who are compromised. And I was just really moved by the compassion of our students in interacting with the homeless. Um, when my son Thomas and Isaac were at the window of the food truck serving food, they loved the people that were coming and they treated them with respect and dignity. And that's something that the homeless of New York don't normally get on a, on a daily basis. And I really, it made me really think about the difference that Jesus makes. And when we love people with His love, um, it's, it's an incredible force um, for His good on the, on the earth. And so that was the most significant for me. NYSEM was such an amazing experience. Um, the facility was just incredible. Like they served us food and they had such amazing people and just, I felt, it felt like home there. So it was like a really good environment and it like helped us sustain like for what we're gonna do in the week. My favorite part of the trip was uh, going to Evangel and uh, helping there. We had to help rip up carpets, which wasn't the fun part of the trip there, but the most fun part was talking to the people at the church, getting to know them, and they bought lunch for us, and it was really good lunch. And we just got to talk to them, and at the end we all prayed, and we said goodbye, so that was a good part. You know, I must say I'm really glad that I went on the New York mission trip. Um, you know, I went to the one last year in West Virginia, and I must say that these these two mission trips are very different, you know, New York being a very busy place, you know, it's all about the person. Even when we were going through the city, you know, people would just, they would just go right through, I mean, they wouldn't stop for anything. They'd knock you over and keep going, so you gotta really make sure you watch yourself, you make sure you watch others. Mind-boggling to me to see that in a place with such wealth and a place where it's the central club of ideas, you still have people who don't have socks. You know, so I'm just really glad that I was not only exposed, but I was able to make a difference on this trip as well. Loved the Brooklyn Tabernacle, yes. and Brooklyn Tabernacle Choir is incredible. Like, praising Jesus, the spirit was in the house, it was awesome, and like, it was just incredible. Um, and then my other thing is that I loved being the navigator of the trip um, and leading a group of students around New York City. I love New York City and it was fun to get on the subway and just like go 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 and sometimes the students wouldn't know where we would be going and I might lead them an extra maybe couple of blocks sometimes on purpose but we never got lost. Yeah. Students would think that we would get lost but you can never get lost in uh, A lot of them were out of their elements. Williamsburg is it, it's different than New York City. New York City's a, a different world compared to Williamsburg. And uh, for those who have not seen it, and even those who have been there several times, it's always a, a great experience and eye-opening. I, I would put the word out on the street, if you have not been on a mission trip, do it. it it'll open your eyes and ears uh, to things that you don't get to see in Williamsburg.